Hey there, so welcome back to the second part of the video. Uh, in the second part, uh, we are going to go into the, the Python typing script. Uh, so we're just going to make a, we're going to write the Python script right now. Uh, and this is, uh, I, I'm doing this specifically for the Raspberry Pi 0W. I'm sure it'll work with other Raspberry Pis, but, um, you know, I, I tested this out on the Raspberry Pi 0 so I can tell you it, it works. So I'm turning it into a wireless, wireless USB keyboard. Um, and it, we call here HID. HID stands for Human Interface Device. Um, and yeah, that's you know I thought you that's me want to know that so let's get into the code right now. Okay, let me just close this, and uh, yeah. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to set your interpreter, um, and this is this is benef well it's uh this is beneficial if you're working in a virtual environment. But even if you're not in working in 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 the virtual environment, it doesn't hurt to have this line of code in your script. So it's shebang, which is a uh, sharp. There's a number sign and a, an exclamation point. It's called shebang, and um, I believe it is user usr. That's short for user bin. That's uh, a binary in. That's what it means. And then env is an environment, and we are using the Python, Python three more specifically. So we set our interpreter, and the first thing we want is we're going to make a, a global character, a global variable, and I'm going to name this. Uh, uh, global variable null character and it's just going to receive uh, a character of uh, of zero. So uh, this what this uh, what this function does it actually returns the the Unicode for zero and I think it's like a special character or something. There's like 255 characters, uh, so they're all unique. Um, so that's what this does right here. I'm using this null character and giving it giving it uh, this this um, assigning to this to character zero, and um, you you'll see why in a second. So we start with our first function. Our first function we're gonna call it transcribe, and it's gonna receive a key like A B C D any key on your on your uh, on your um, keyboard. It's gonna receive a key here. Oh yeah, but before we do that, we can't, we can't, I can't jump into this just yet. There's one part I need to do. Let's use pass here just so it's um, so I can come back to it later. There's one part we need to do is we need to set up a code. Um, we can we need to open a file and write to it, uh, and it's sort of essential for this whole thing to work, this whole project to report to work. So I'm gonna make a um, a new function called write report. Here, write report, and it's going to receive report that variable report, and um, we're going to use a try and accept script because we don't want to program. So if it doesn't exist, if this, the directory doesn't exist, it won't crash. So we're going to use a try and accept uh, function, and we're just going to use pass for the accept. Because uh, you know, we just, we just the whole point of this try except is so we don't, it doesn't crash if something bad happens, if something wrong happens, if you make a mistake somewhere. So I'm going to use with open and um, the directory we are going to make. And this directory exists, or sometimes it exists and sometimes it doesn't exist. If it doesn't exist, then the, this try except will allow the program to, re to run regardless. So it's open dev hid G0. Is that right? Yes, that is right. We are going to op open this up in re uh, reading reading by reading bytes plus. And so we're, we're op open this in reading and reading mode in more specifically reading in bytes mode and this plus means it allows you to read or write to this file. And we're just going to name the, the this uh, FD as as FD. Is it FD? Yeah, there you go. With FD and inside here, we're just going to go fd write. So we're writing to this directory here. We're writing to this hi hi um, this this file here. We're going to write to it. And inside, we're going to write down report uh, dot encode. There we go. So for this whole uh, script to work, you need this function here and we're using the try and accept so if this does not exist for any reason it's not going to crash it's going to keep on going and i noticed this makes a big difference in uh, this try and accept in whether or not it works or not i, I just notice i always get good results when i 
when I started using this try and accept at this point here. Okay, so now to the next part of the code, we're going to transcribe, uh, but we are going to need a dictionary of, um, of characters. So I have, uh, I have this uppercase and lowercase, and I'm going to paste this in the description of the video so you guys can do the same thing. There's no point in you guys um, doing this by hand when you just can copy and paste it from, this, from the description of this video. So here I'm going to stick these, di these dictionaries here all these dictionaries, this entire dictionary here and uh, what a key is, let's say a key is A, B, C, D or, or, or number uh, so if A is inside here it's gonna return 4 uh, when we invoke the, dic the dictionary. So let's erase this past here because we don't need it anymore and down here we got an if statement so if key which is which is any keystroke on your computer in lowercase. So if it's inside, if it's inside this dictionary, so if they basically if it's inside, it's basically if this is true, if it's inside this dictionary, then we want you to um, use write report bracket, and uh, in this case we're using the lowercase. So we're going to use no character, and you want to use this twice. So it's times two, no character, twice plus C H or C um, H R and for now I'm just gonna use a I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it empty but we're gonna put something inside here in, in a second but just for a moment we're just gonna I don't write the rest of this code out here so you can see how it looks like no character times five so you have a whole bunch of uh you have a whole bunch of these um, C H uh, this one these uh, character zeros here you have a whole bunch you have two of them here and two of them at the end, or five of them at the end, and in between here, and in between here, we need to stick one of these um, these these uh, numbers inside here to get the letter we want, right? So um, just to illustrate the point, well, we're well, I'll tell you what we're putting inside here is specifically, um, we're gonna actually be putting inside here lowercase and then bracket key, and the reason we're putting this inside here. Is uh, well. Let me show you here in this empty, in this uh, in this file. So let's say a. That's the keystroke. Let's say a equals I don't know. No, that's not, that's, what, that's not the keystroke. That's just a variable. Let's say a equals hello. Right. So let's say a equals hello. And if I did this, if I did um, uh, print a and then brackets, and I put a number here. Let's say uh, zero. Right, it's gonna give me the first character, it's gonna give me H. So let me just do that. So print that, and then I'm gonna put a comma here, and then put A bracket and put one. So you're gonna get an H and you're gonna get an E. So let's run this code. You will see it here in the bottom, you'll be H and an E beside each other. See? H and E. Right, so that's when we um so that's when we uh we do it like this. It is a is a dictionary. So let's say you have uh, so let's say it was H here. Then it's gonna put that. Um, well, that's that's basically how these. Oh, let me just let me show you how a dictionary works. So let's say um, let's say it's A or let's say it's A. Then it should translate to four, right? So let's say A has. Uh, we do A4 inside here, and if you print that out, it should, well, it gives you both, well, gives you <laughs> keystroke of that there, um, no, 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 uh, no, sorry, if it was, if there was an A inside here, so if there was a A, that should give you 4, I believe. Oh, it's not a capital A. It should be a small, small case, A. There we go. There we go. Gives you four, right? So, um, over here, that's what we're doing. We made a dictionary here. So if uh, if A was entered for the key here, it's gonna it's gonna end, it's gonna give me character four. Right here. Now for the uppercase, I can use an else statement here, but I like to be more I like to be specific, so I'm gonna use an elif. 
here. So if, if key is in uppercase, if it's uppercase, then it's going to look a little different. It's going to be the same code. It's going to be the exact same code. So if key is inside here, any of these, then it's going to it's going to write this but but we're going to change this part of the code. We're going to get rid of this to the power of 2 and we have it just a, as a 1. And I'm going to put a plus there and we use character and 32. So what this uh, what this does when you put on character 32 and just one null here, it actually this is actually a shift key. So you're actually clicking on the shift key, holding the shift key down and then you're hitting your the key you want, which is a b or whatever over here and then it's going to follow the rest of this code here and that's going to give you a capitalized letter. And then once all that is done, you want to be able because right now you're you're pressing the key but you're not releasing the key. Right, so you want to be able to release the key. So the last part of the code, we're going to do write report, and then we're going to give it five null characters, null characters, and then you can do five five of them there. And this should allow you to release the key. And I believe that's the end of the code. Uh, so that will give you the keystrokes. And then the next part of the video, uh, we're going to go we're going to go a little bit further into words. Okay. And that's about it.